Well, well, well. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's me. Another segment of my show. What to talk about. What to spread the word of the word of Jerry. I don't know. Uh, hey, everybody. This is going to be a short program again. It's not going to be long. I'm still working on a lot of stuff right now. I got some upcoming shows in July. Uh, so we'll see what we. I mean, shouldn't say ah. It's another thing in the radio business when you're learning this. Never say ah. Mm, I don't know who, what, when, where, who. Anyway, welcome. And this is the Jerry Torres program. And a lot of things coming up this weekend. I'm going to see Finding Dory. That's going to be a great movie. I love the uh, Finding Nemo. Finding Dory is going to be good. So you're going to be finding me in the theater watching it. And up and coming stuff, uh, pretty much. What's going on? There's nothing in the world of sports. Phillies lost again. Today is Thursday. It's rainy. It's muggy. Gives me a break from me cutting the grass. That's a good thing because I don't want to cut the grass. <laughs> not, to, not this weekend. Um, I got a special thing coming up uh, this Saturday. I got a very special date with a very nice lady. And hopefully that'll happen. Eventually, all in all, with nothing much is going on. I'm 44. I'm healthy. And uh, <laughs> oh, it, very much what's going on in Orlando, um, you know, it's a sad tragedy. Uh, 50, 49 or 50 people died from this, and uh, we should not talk about sad stuff. I mean, uh, there's a lot of good in people, and for that individual to come in to ruin the good, um, that's you know, it's it's just horrible. And for what Donald Trump, not one thing of him saying, uh, oh, my condolences to the family. Oh, uh, you know, we should uh, spread love and peace, you know. My, and he, all he was thinking about was himself and his fake orange hair. And Donald Trump, go fuck yourself. Seriously, man. No one likes you. You're racist. You don't care about nobody. You only care about your money. Your your, uh, your 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 Ku Klux Klan members, and you just don't care about anyone but your political agenda, and that is to become a dictator, the first dictator of the United States, and you really have no sympathy towards human life, and you're not a human. You don't care about. All you care about is just you just want to destroy immigrants' um, lives coming to America. You know, they want to start a new life. They want to have a better, you know, better work, better jobs, better way of living for their families. And Donald Trump is this douchebag that just wants to destroy immigrants coming to America. In which, if this guy really did some research, your family came from another country. And they came here. You know? Um... No one was born in this country. The Indians were here first. And then we came, and, you know, and you know the rest is history. Um, so I am not about politics. I hate politics. I don't vote. I have the right, you know. I respect and love all religions. Um, as a matter of fact, not too long ago, a Muslim friend of mine asked me to pray with him. I told him I was Catholic. But he goes, yeah, and? And you know what? I did. Kneeled right next to him. Uh, followed everything he step, did step by step. And uh, out of respect and love for the religion, you know, I prayed with him. Um, and uh, pointed to Mecca. I think Mecca's that way. Or that way. I, I don't know. But uh, he was a friend of mine. And uh, out of respect, I, uh, I prayed alongside of him. And uh, it was nice. It was really nice, man. I like that. And, uh, you know, there was no, like, uh, hatred. None of that, uh, you know, skeptical. None of that questioning stuff. He was just a human being. And he asked me to pray with him. And I did. You know? So, that was nice. I, that was a really nice moment. It, it shows that we're all human beings. That we all respect each other. And that we all show one thing. And that is love. 
You know, and Donald Trump has no love. Um, I've said it many times. I mean, if there was no law for one day, I would punch Donald Trump in the mouth and make sure his teeth are in my knuckles. That's how hard I hit. Don't doubt me. Bam. But, uh, and I don't know. Like, Radio Raheem has the fist, you know, love and hate, you know. I love all religions and all human beings, but I hate Donald Trump. Hate, and then Donald Trump will be on the bottom. So, he will not be president of the United States. That's a fact. Uh, he doesn't care about, like I said, religion, um, sexual gender, and I don't know. He says radical Muslims. Come on, man. It was just one individual that was just pathetically nuts. Um, but I don't know. This is this is a this is not a perfect world, people. But the ones that do care about human life and respect religions and sexual genders, race, color, creed, we try our best to make this world a perfect place to live in. And the word is try. And um, damn, I'm saying um again. I gotta stop saying that. So we try to make this world a better place to live in for all human beings to come, all foreigners to come into this country to have a better way of life, to get better jobs, get a nice home, better way of living. And we got to see those people in a, you know, in a great way. For those individuals that want to come in here, that one or two people that just want to destroy lives and don't come in just killing everyone else. If you don't like the way you live, if you hate the way the world is living, if you see two men kissing, two women kissing, I wouldn't mind seeing two women kissing. But if you see two men kissing and that bothers you, look the other way. Look the other way. You know? I've worked, as a comedian, I've worked with um, homosexuals, uh, gay comics, lesbian comics, and they're a lot of fun to hang out with. As a straight man, I am not threatened. Because I know I'm straight and I'm 100% lesbian. <laughs> no, but I have worked with gay comics before. And they're great guys, great people to hang out with. They're fun to talk to. And, you know, we, we, after a sh before and after a show, oh, my God, great conversations. Have drinks. You know, we talk about life and everything. And after that, we go our separate ways. But, you know, when we do a show again... Hey, we reminisce, we have a good time. That's the focus, man. We have a great time. And um, I've, I've performed with lesbian comics. Lesbian comics are great. You know, they're funny. Um, but we hang, when I work with gay male comics, um, the one thing is that they're funny, really funny guys. But another thing that I don't like is they did get all the girls, man. Damn! You know? And a, I'm like, hey, I'm straight, man, over here. I mean... I'm not gay, but I am competitive. <laughs> so, what are, the point that I'm just trying to say is this, people. Um, may my thoughts and prayers go to the family and friends of, the one, of the, their loved ones that they lost in that horrible tragedy. And they're in a better place now, and they're looking down, saying, you know, hey, love me, miss me, but I'll always be there by your side. And... Uh, I'm hoping, you know, things will be worked out. And as, you know, for President Obama to go up against douchebag Trump, I love that guy. He stood up and said something to him. Well, I wish he would just be, I wish oh, President Obama would be just up front and say, listen, you cracker ass racist. If he said that, oh my God, be president for another four years, please. <laughs> Oh, man. Nobody likes you, Donald Trump. Do me and the world a favor. Just take all your money go in hiding. And that's all I got to say, people. And anywho, uh, I don't have no closing music uh, or sound effects. I have not set that up yet. But um, I am working on the show coming July 23rd at the Tapeo Restaurant. Uh, look for, I'm going to be posting on Facebook so that way you can get all the information. I'll be performing with Peaches Rodriguez, uh, Roberto Vanderpool. Those are the two great funny guy, funny comics. And I'm looking forward to seeing those guys again. And in any case, ladies and gentlemen, that is my show for right now. 
Um, it was like a late thing I'm doing. So next time uh, we'll be having music and some sound effects in the background and up and coming more shows. But they probably won't be till the fall because any comedian knows come the summertime. <sighs> Comedy's really slow, and the best you can do is just do open mics and, uh, you know, get to do some free shows. Or better yet, go to Mike Bonner's Comedy Show. If you're looking to do a show at the Station Bar and Grill in Cranberry, New Jersey, contact Mike Bonner on his Facebook page, and he'll set you up to do a spot for, like, five or ten minutes. Uh, you won't get paid, but you will get a free meal. That's what's great about the guy. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm at, this is the Jerry Therese Program. Thank you all for listening uh, cats and kitties. Until then, people, next time, be good, be safe, love y'all.